I'm pretending to be Lance. Um, Lance who? I don't have the ponytail, but I'll do the best I can. You work on that. Thank you all for coming out this morning. We are really, really happy to have some distinguished visitors. We um, we couldn't get the league president from Newington today, but we got our section manager Skip Jackson, uh, a couple of his assistant section managers here sitting down and wave wave at everybody you guys come on <laughs> and we have um, Bob Meyer W0 LAW the section traffic manager and for those of you young hams down at the end of the table the American Radio Relay League got its start by organizing people to relay messages back and forth across the country and the oldest guy in the room has been helping to do that for the last 47 or 4,700 years. <laughs> <laughs> and the American Radio Relay League is going to present him a little award for doing that today. So Skip Jackson and, and Bob Meyer, our distinguished VIPs, will make the presentation. First of all, yours. Okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and meet all of you, but remember, we're just volunteers. You know, we don't, you know, we're not anointed by anybody. So, uh, it's a, like I say, it's my pleasure to be here. My congratulations to Ken, and uh, the formal award will be presented by his boss, the traffic manager, which is LAW, who you, you many of you know. How could you not know about it? Anyway, uh, two section assistant section managers are Dick Roberts in the blue here. Just stick your hand up here, okay? And Brian McInerney in the black vest. They came down with me, and, and we're all very glad to be here. And, and made thank you for making us feel so welcome. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to Bob here, and or whoever you want to the master of ceremony. Turn it over to Bob here to make the presentation. Uh, to Ken, and you don't even have to stand up, Ken. Just stay where you are. Bob, you do have to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got a short little bio that Ken gave me. Uh, oh. And uh, I'm Bob Meyer, W0 -E -W. I live in Marshall. And uh, well, first of all, I want to thank you for serving your country in Korea. And uh, I was over in Vietnam. I was in Korea. I was too late for that, but it was you know, good time. Um, this is a short bio. Ken and Zero JP being honored today for his commitment to natural to the net control station for Minnesota section nets for the past 47 years. Ken always had a liking for electronics and other mechanical things. Starting in the fourth grade, started with flying model airplanes, built a telegraph line to his neighbor's to his friend's house. And later converted a homemade to a homemade telephone. Ken did a tour of duty in Korea, 1952 to 1954. He was married to his wife Dolores in 1954. He had four children. One of the boys got his hand license. His wife Dolores has her hand license. Her call is N zero N U O. Ken worked as an automobile technician from 1949 to 1996. Mr. Job Jumper. Okay. 1960, Ken uh, started flying radio controlled model airplanes. He wanted to use six meters, so he got his hand license and upgraded to his license in 1964. In the early 1970s, he got his extra class license. 
He has worked over 300 DXCC countries, Ken and Dolores enjoy working with CW. I personally want to thank Ken for all the nets he has run in the past 47 years. He has been a great asset to amateur radio operators all over the world. Thank you for your service to your country and to amateur radio. I would like to present this plaque from, from the ARL. Please give Ken a big round of applause. Thank you very much. everybody. Uh, first of all, I will, uh, I want to give a thanks to my XYO over here because the, uh, uh, most of the, to my memory, most of the Minnesota section nets were Saturday nights and we seldom missed a, uh, a Saturday night broadcast or a Saturday night uh, NCS session unless we were out of town. Our, our wedding, our 50th wedding, no, our 50th wedding anniversary, yeah. Uh, that fell on the same day as, um, it was a Saturday, so I'm sure I missed that one. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, so, um, it's just a, uh, I want to give her credit for docking the supper hour to, uh, even before or after the net, because it was just about the, for uh, aiding in this, in my amateur radio career. I guess that's all I have to say. I, to it's really nice to see such a big turnout. Yeah, yeah, yeah I it's really nice. This is what I told them that Ken was buying. Oh, <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank uh, <laughs> no, right. But uh, thank you very much for coming today. It's uh, Kurt Goodwill Rivals uh, holiday party in uh, January. At least, maybe more than we had at the holiday party. So, uh, we were married on his birthday in 1954, which is July 10th. So this summer we will be celebrating our 63rd wedding anniversary. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. He will be 86 this summer. I'll be 85 next week. So it's been from 16 to 17 now to 85 to 86. We've had oh, mostly good times. Uh, we haven't had anything. We've not lost a child or anything. No, no plastic stuff like that. Uh, it's been a good 63 years. I can't say this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At St. Mary's University, it was then called St. Mary's College, because I was going to summer school there as a teacher. And I saw his call sign on his uh, car, and he was flying a model airplane. So I went out and looked him up, and said, who's got the call sign on the car? <laughs> What's him? So I introduced myself to him, and uh, watched him fly out there many, many times, and uh, of course, knew him from then on. Thanks for that, Ken. <laughs> All weather flyer where he had to get a, a model airplane flight yeah, uh, at least once a month for all the months of the year. And so I remember uh, going on uh, winter flights with him on uh, frozen Lake Monona. Ken, uh, uh, saying that uh, something to the effect that, uh, oh, we have a new license in town, K2OPT, which the FCC in its wisdom kept open for over 20 years for me so when my stuff lapsed because i got inactive uh, and then i had to re redo everything uh, i got a message from ken you know, and that was so that was my first cuso in minnesota was a message from ken uh, congratulating me on my my new license at that point <laughs>
Yeah. Well, he, uh... Yeah.